Hi, hello and a very warm welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to discuss 17 top, top places e-commerce entrepreneurs go to find product ideas. So if you want to know 17 of the best places where e-commerce entrepreneurs go to find product ideas, then this video is for you. Now, coming up with a great idea for a product to sell online will occasionally strike you when you least expect it. Many times though, it's something you need to be proactively on the lookout for. Let's face it, the internet contains a wealth of ideas and inspiration, but as a new entrepreneur, where do you begin? Aimlessly searching online will only get you so far, so I've compiled a list of the best resources to give you direction and get you started. Now, the first place where e-commerce entrepreneurs go to find product ideas is, let's face it, starting with what you have. Before you begin searching the depths of the internet for business ideas and the ends of the earth for products and niche ideas, it's, it's always best to start with the ideas you already have. Maybe it's a product or idea you've had for years. Maybe it exists in half-written business plan sitting in a folder somewhere on your computer. Even if you've discounted it at some point before, it's worth taking a fresh look at it. I mean, at one point, you thought it was a great idea, right? Now, here are a few questions to consider when making your list of internet business ideas. The first question is, what products, niches, or industry are you particularly passionate about or interested in? The second question you could ask yourself is, what products, niches, or industries are your friends passionate about? And the third question you could ask yourself is, what pain points do you have in your own life? Now, identify pain points and challenges. If there's a problem, solve it. Consider which pain points you have in your own life or even the pain points of those around you. Act, uh, that is going to help you to kind of um, narrow down uh, to what exactly it is that you want to get into. And just all you have to ensure is that the market for that product is based on that specific pain point or solution that you want to bring into um, the market. The second way through which uh, you can find a product idea is through your local community. You know, sometimes you don't need a new idea at all. Traditional brick and mortar businesses have been around much longer than their e-commerce counterparts. You know, paying attention to trends in brick and mortar retail and adapting them to e-commerce can be just the ticket you need to create a profitable and unique internet business idea. Look around your community and take note of what new or interesting retail concepts people are talking about. Your local newspaper can also be a great source for this type of news and information. The third place where you could find um, inspiration for uh, a product idea is uh, online consumer trend publications. You know, a great place to start your search for product ideas is to look at some top consumer product trend publications. Following trend publications is great. You know, it really is a great way to begin getting a sense of the direction Consumer products are going and the trending product ideas other entrepreneurs are introducing to the market. And following these publications can also expose you to new product categories and industries that you previously had no clue about. 
Following what's trending can really help you to dream up new goods, services, and experiences for your online business. Now, there are several popular trend pub publications online which include but are not limited to the following. The first publication is Trend Watching. Trend Watching. Trend Watching is an independent trend firm that scans the globe for the most promising consumer trends and insights. Trend Watching has a team of professionals in locations like London, New York, uh, Singapore, Sydney, and Lagos who report on worldwide trends. Another publication you could look at is Trend Hunter. Now, Trend Hunter is the world's largest, most popular trend community. Fueled by um, a global network of about 137,000 members and about 3, 000, 3 million actually fans, Trend Hunter is a source of inspiration for aspiring entrepreneurs and the insatiably curious. You could also uh, have a look at PSFK. Now, PSFK is a business intelligence platform that inspires creative professionals as they develop new products, services, and experiences across retail, advertising, and design. It does actually analyze research-based consumer trends and insights that you can use as a jumping off point and validation for e-commerce business ideas. The fourth place that you could have a look at to find product ideas is industry leaders. Now, if you know the industry or the niche you would like to be, in, you can actually use various tools to discover the influencers in the industry. You know, following the right people on social media can really help inspire new ideas through a constant stream of carefully curated content from the people in the know. I mean, it's up to you to uncover the opportunities. The fifth place where you could find product ideas is uh, through product and trend discovery sites. Now, product review and discovery sites can also be a fantastic source for product and internet business ideas. Sites like Uncrate, which is a uh, Specify, specifically for men's products and create that is U N C R A T E, um, and for example, Aha Life that is A H A L I F E, who specialize in luxury uh, products. I mean, these are great ways to see new curated product trends daily. And what but better way to get inspired than to get a, a, a daily glimpse into the new and interesting products other entrepreneurs are bringing to the market. Now, I'm going to give you just a few examples of popular consumer product blogs uh, to get you started. Like I said, um, the first one is Uncrate. Um, and I also talked about Aha Life. You can also have a look at Bless this stuff. Uh, you can look at cool material. You can look at gear mousse. That is G E A R M W double O S E. You can look at word. That is W E R D. You could also have a look at high consumption and uh, firebox. Now, the sixth top place uh, where e-commerce entrepreneurs go to find product ideas is social curation sites. Now, Polyvo and other similar image curation uh, sites can be a goldmine for product and niche ideas. Many of the images there contain interesting new and trending businesses and consumer products. And using the built-in social signals, you can sometimes actually get a sense almost immediately of their popularity. And this could be your first clue if there is a market for the product or niche that you're interested in. 
Now, several of the larger uh, social cu uh, curation sites that may inspire niche business ideas are, for example, Fancy. Fancy is F-A-N-C-Y. Fancy uh, describes themselves as part store, magazine, and wish list. So you can use Fancy to find a gift for any occasion and share your favorite discoveries with all your friends. You can also use or have a look at Wanello. Wanello is W-A-N-E-L-O. Now, Wanello uh, stands for Want, Need, Love. They describe uh, themselves as a community for all of the world's shopping, bringing together products and stores in a Pinterest-like product posting format. So you can start by checking out uh, trending uh, people. And finally, you could have a look at um, Wish List. That is W I S H L I S T R. Now, Wish List Tree is a way to collect, organize, and track products you want, as well as share that list with others. And more than 9 million wishes have been listed uh, to date. The seventh place where uh, e-commerce entrepreneurs go to find product ideas is B2B wholesale, wholesale marketplaces. That is B2B wholesale marketplaces. Now, what better way to get product ideas than right from the source? You know, this has been a popular option amongst e-commerce entrepreneurs for a while, and this list wouldn't be complete without it. So wholesale and manufacturer sourcing sites expose you to thousands of potential product ideas, and it can be easy to get overwhelmed with the sheer amount of products available. So take it slow. Now, one of the places that you could have a look at for uh, a wholesale marketplaces is Alibaba. You know, Alibaba is really one of the biggest e-commerce companies in the world, up there with Amazon and eBay. And um, the Alibaba platform connects consumers uh, all over the world with wholesalers and manufacturers from Asia. And with hundreds of thousands of products, there's not much you can't find on Alibaba. Now, although it's generally accepted that Alibaba is the largest online wholesale and manufacturing ad database, there are many other sites similar to Alibaba uh, you can use for inspiration to find uh, product ideas. And one of those sites is Obalo. Now, Obalo is a marketplace owned by Shopify where you can purchase products to sell on Shopify from suppliers. And these suppliers provide automated order fulfillment services. So it's a popular turnkey option for many entrepreneurs deciding what to sell on Shopify. I mean, just browse what's available and review Obalo's trending uh, products to help, come, to help you come up with um, your own ideas. Uh, some other uh, B2B wholesale marketplaces uh, besides Obalo and uh, Alibaba are TradeKey, that is T-R-A-D-E-K-E-Y. You could also have a look at Global Sources and you can also have a look at uh, Made in China. And the final wholesale marketplace that I would recommend is Wholesale Central. Now let's move on to the eighth on uh, 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 e-commerce, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, platform that uh, you could use to find uh, product ideas, and that is online through online consumer marketplaces. You know, another really rich source for product ideas are online consumer marketplaces. Millions of products uh, uh, is probably an understatement. So you may want to begin your search with some of the popular and trending items and branch out into other interesting categories that catch your eye from there. And um, some of these online consumer marketplaces include eBay. You know, eBay is the largest online consumer auction site. Uh, so you can use eBay market uh, uh, research, for example, to find some of the most popular product categories on eBay. 
Another one is Amazon. You know, Amazon is the largest internet retailer, Amazon, uh, 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 and you can use Amazon bestsellers um, to find Amazon's most popular product based on sales. Um, they also have Amazon movers and shakers, uh, which displays the biggest gainers in sales um, ranking over the past 24 hours. You could also uh, use a Kickstarter, now, Kickstarter is the largest uh, uh, crowdfunding website. Uh, you can browse all projects by popularity, funding, and staff picks, as well as many other options with Kickstarter Discover. Now, another uh, online consumer marketplace that can actually inspire you in terms of uh, uh, product choices is Etsy. Etsy is E-T-S-Y. Etsy is a marketplace for handmade items. Uh, so you can look up what's trending to find the most popular listings on Etsy. And finally, you can uh, have a look at AliExpress. AliExpress is Alibaba's uh, consumer wholesale marketplace that allows you to order in small quantities. Now, Alibaba's popular uh, 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 option or uh, or tool uh, is going to reveal the most bought products for you now jet is another internet retailer that continues to grow in popularity and each product category uh, on jet has its own list of best sellers such as uh, uh um whole in you know uh such as books or uh, uh, media-based uh, 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 products. Now, the ninth uh, place where e-commerce entrepreneurs go to find product ideas is through social forum communities. There are a lot of social forum communities that you could use to find product ideas. And the first one is Reddit. Reddit. Now, Reddit is the largest social media news aggregator. It describes itself as the front page of the internet and is enormously influential. Reddit has thousands of subreddits, which are subsections or niches that cater to different topics and areas of interest. It's within these subreddits that you can find lots of inspiration for your next uh, product or business idea. Now, if you have an idea for a particular industry, niche or product category, it's worth doing a search and finding a suitable subreddit community to join and actively become a part of it. Now, there are also many uh, product-focused uh, uh, subreddits that are packed with ideas. And um, just to give you a few examples, they have um, a sub, one of them is Buy It For Life. You know, and Buy It For Life is meant for practical, durable, and quality-made products that are built to last. Another one is shut up and take my money. Now, this one is meant it's 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 meant for, you know, interesting, clever, useful products that people want really badly. Now, there are also several subreddits for curated Amazon products, so make sure to check them out. For example, uh the best of Amazon. Another one is the best of Amazon Canada. Another one is weird stuff on Amazon. And there is also Find It on Amazon. And they also have Amazon under 25. And if you're active on Reddit and pay close attention, occasionally you have uh, you will come across interesting posts uh, 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 which asks commenters to share their best purchases for, for example, under $50. Now, no matter what which approach, approach you take, Reddit has been and continues to be a valuable source of e-commerce business ideas and inspiration, coupled with a great and supportive community. Now, another one that you could use is um, Quora, okay? Uh, another one that you could use is Quora. And uh, Quora is Q-U-O-R-A. You know, Quark, uh, Quora is a community question and, and answer site, a place to gain and share knowledge, the sort of thing. 
as the company uh, uh, describes themselves. Essentially, users come to Quora to ask and answer questions about pretty much anything and everything. Like Reddit subreddits, Quora has topics that you can choose to add to your own customized feed and, you know, consider adding some product or industry related feeds as well as anything else inspired by online uh, business. Quora also shows which topics and questions are trending as well as uh, a count of the total numbers of answers, each with a number of upvotes and downvotes from the community. Now, once uh, uh, you populate your feed, you'll start to discover questions and answers that may inspire e-commerce business ideas. Now, just to give you a few of them uh, 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 in terms of uh, questions that uh, you could have a look at is what is the best gift you've ever received that could inspire you in terms of a product idea? Another question on uh, uh, Quora is what's your favorite product? And finally, what would you buy from Amazon? Now, another uh, uh, platform that you could use is industry and niche forums. Industry and niche forums. Now, so this is another social uh, forum community apart from Reddit and Quora. And, um, you know, depending on the industry you're targeting, there may be niche forum sites that you can tap into for product ideas to sell. Now, gaming is one industry that has an active community, uh, online community, and you can check out forums like uh, Game F, uh, FAQs or Neo Gaff. Now, I'm just going to give you a few other industry forum sites for niche product ideas, and one of them is the Fashion Spot the fashion spot. Another one is Nerd Fitness Rebellion. And the third one is Geeks to Go. Those are just some examples of industry and niche forums that could inspire you uh, to find your niche products. Now, the 10th place where e-commerce entrepreneurs go to find product ideas is through social media networks. Now, there are a few ways you can use social media to search for product and niche ideas. Now, one of the ways through which you could do that is through hashtags. Now, if you have a particular interest in a product category or industry, you can try searching for applicable hashtags. Another great op option is to do a search on social media for hashtags that indicate by interest and intent like hashtag want and hashtag buy. Now, you could also use product curation accounts. There are many accounts on Instagram that post curated product content. Like many other examples that I've talked about, you'll, you'll likely want to search for and find accounts with, within the niches you're particularly interested in. Now, you could also use audience insights. You know, if you already have a business page on one or more social media platforms, you may be able to use your audience data to find e-commerce business ideas. You know, understand which pages, hobbies, interests, and other characteristics they have in common and just brainstorm products based on those insights. When it comes to social media, you could also have a look at Instagram. You know, Instagram isn't just pictures of food and dogs. It's also an interesting option for inspiring product and e-commerce business ideas because it's photo based and, and because it's photo based, it's easy to scan through many products and photos really quickly. I mean, you could also use Facebook. You know, Facebook still has the most active users out of any social media platform and if there's a market you're trying to reach, there is a chance they are on Facebook. In addition to hashtags, trending topics, and popular pages, check out which Facebook group uh, groups are popular in your niche. You know, you may be able to particip participate and find inspiration through those communities. 
Another social media uh, uh, platform that you could use is Pinterest. You know, the average order of value of sales coming through Pinterest is higher than any other social channel. You know, this indicates that in, in Pinterest users are browsing, shopping and buying, making it an ideal spot to research popular products and trends. Another visual platform, you know, it is quite visual. It's easy to scan and find inspiration for e-commerce business ideas. And don't forget to check out the popular section for what's trending. Another social media platform you could use is Snapchat, especially ideal for a younger demographic. You know, Snapchat admittedly, admittedly has more limited capabilities in terms of identifying trends, but you can use the discover option to find out what the Snapchat community is talking about and follower influencers in your niche uh, to gain more insight into uh, their needs and motivations. Another social media platform that you could use is Twitter. You know, Twitter trends will be helpful in finding new e-commerce business ideas for sure. I mean, you'll be able to see what's popular in your network or a chosen location. And you'll find these trends on the left-hand side when you log in to uh, uh, twitter.com or look for the explore option uh, when you are on the mobile app. Also, you could use niche social media sites. You know, if you're searching for niche products, ideas, social media sites dedicated to related topics and hobbies are another way to gain insights into new product ideas. And just to mention a few, uh, uh, the first one is Who's. Um, it is a real niche social media site. Who's is W O U double Z. And you could also have a look at Map My Fitness. Another one is Untapped, uh, that is U N T A P P D. There is also Care2, that is C A R E, and then the letter 2. And the last one is Wayne, that is W A Y N. Now, the 11th place where e commerce entrepreneurs go to find product ideas is through on-site and third-party customer reviews. Now, if you already have a business online or in real life, check out your own customer reviews. You know, savvy entrepreneurs consider customer recommendations, the motivation behind it, and respond accordingly. I mean, if you don't have any reviews of, or, of your own to consider, how about looking at reviews of companies and products in your niche? You know, identify commonalities, paying careful attention to customer complaints and determine how you can create a product that will address those concerns. Amazon is an especially great place to find honest customer reviews. The 12th top place uh, that e-commerce entrepreneurs go to find uh, product ideas is through SEO analytics and insights. You know, search engine optimization uh, 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 insights uh, can show you what's trending on search uh, globally or targeted uh, to specific uh, geographic locations. Google has a number of free and paid tools that you could actually use. Also, you could have a look at Google Trends, you know, to find out what's trending globally and regionally and choose from specific topics like business, health and uh, uh, sci-fi or tech. You know, you can also browse top stories to see what's most popular. And if you have a specific market or idea, you can also research keywords to find uh, common related searches as well as anticipated peaks in search volume. And that can help dictate timing for your product launch, for example. Example. You could also use Google Keyword Planner. You know, Keyword Planner is going to help you find average search volume and related keywords to your chosen uh, phrases. And you can also look at AdWord competition to gauge whether some, someone else is bidding on your targeted phrases for your e-commerce business idea. You could also use Google Analytics, you know, if you already have a website, use the data from Google Analytics to find out which terms users are searching to find your site. 
Volume isn't always important. There may be a long tail descriptive search phrase that makes you think of your next big idea. You know, you can also use data from your own site uh, search to find the same insights. And finally, you can use Google search. You know, google.com is an often forgotten tool to use in your uh, search. You know, there are a few key areas to look when you, uh, you look at uh, a search on google.com. Uh, predicted text, for example, as you type your query in the search bar. Paid ads at the bottom and on the side rail. Suggested searches at the bottom of the page. And Google Shopping results. Remember to check out images and news too. Now, the 13th uh, uh, place where e-commerce entrepreneurs go to find product ideas that I would recommend is through our consumer lifestyle publications. You know, consumer-facing uh, publications in your industry can actually reveal a lot about a market segment and what's trending. You know, consider what these publications are talking about and which articles resonate most with the audience. And to find out which articles are most popular, look at how many comments, social media engagements or social media shares the content has actually received. Now, the more popular articles could inspire niche market ideas. And the 14th place where you could go to find product ideas is through your competitors. You know, learn from the successes of your competitors and popular businesses in your chosen industry. You know, which products have they launched with the most success, for example? Where, why were they so successful? You know, sometimes brands will share the why and how behind new products. Now, beyond your competitors' products, examine their community. Who is their audience and why do they love those products? Look at what the brand is saying to, uh, 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 to, con to consumers as well as how customers are interacting with them online. Identify gaps in your competitors' uh, product offerings and look for ways to fill those gaps with your new product. The 15th top place that can help you find product ideas is through audience surveys. You know, surveys are one of the best ways to get qualitative and quantitative insights into an audience. You know, craft questions about the problems and challenges they face, which products they love most and why, and what they wish they had, they had to enhance their everyday life. And keep a mix of multiple choice and open-minded questions that will let you uh, 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 inside respond, respondents' uh, uh, heads. Uh, so to speak, and use this information when you brainstorm your e-commerce uh, business ideas. Now, some of the tools that you can use to create and distribute your survey are uh, SurveyMonkey. Uh, you could also use Google Surveys. You can also use Survey Gizmo, and we also have Zoho Survey, and you could also use Typeform. And the 16th platform that you could use uh, uh, to find product ideas is through crowdsourcing. You know, crowdsourcing is, you know, along the similar lines as surveying, except when it comes to crowdsourcing, you are asking for ideas more overtly. Lego Ideas is a prime example of a brand that uses crowdsourcing to find new product ideas to sell. You know, consumers can submit their ideas for Lego sets and the site also features popular and successful ideas. And you can create your own crowdsourced ideas or look to those hubs for inspiration. Now, if you want to organize your own crowdsourcing campaign for product ideas to sell, you can check out um, Inno Incentive or you can check out um, Keodix or you can have a look at Idea Connection. Innocentive is I-N-N-O-S-E-N-T-I-V-E. And Chaodix is C-H-O-R-D-I-X. And Idea Connection is just I-D-E-A-C-O-N-N-E-C-T-O-N. That is Idea Connection. 
Now, another way that is the 17th way through which you can find uh, product ideas is uh, to look to the past. You know, one way to learn is always from the past. Through examining history and old trends, you can come up with a list of revived product ideas to sell. You know, this is really one tactic that Dogfish Head Craft Brewery came up with uh, their product series of ancient ales, which uses old school brewing te uh, techniques. You know, but history doesn't necessarily mean historical events and techniques. It's also about pop culture trends. In fashion especially, we often see the resurgence of trends and consumers uh, uh, love, uh, you know, because consumers love nostalgia. You know, chalk and necklaces, for example, have made a comeback and countless movies and TV shows, you know, have made a comeback that, you know, because this shows and they reboot that, you know, they have kind of created renewed interest and passion for uh, consumers. And you can evoke this sense of nostalgia through a product that is no longer available or highlights a, sim uh, a seemingly forgotten subject uh, likely to inspire fond memories. Now, as I summarize uh, 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 this video, I'm going to look at some questions that may have arisen uh, through uh, uh, the discussion. Now, how do you develop a product idea? You know, you can find inspiration from your local community, online consumer trend publications, industry leaders, and customer reviews. Um, and how do you get uh, products uh, for your business? You can make your own products or source them externally. You know, you can get products uh, for your business from wholesalers, dropshippers, manufacturers, markets, local artisans, and more. And what products are in hand high demand today? Now, current high demand products are mostly centered around home, life, health, and wellness. Now, home office items, self-care, loungewear, and home gym items are quite popular right now. And other popular items are face masks, hand sanitizers, and digital uh, products. And you're probably wondering, what do people buy the most? Now, in terms of frequency, people buy groceries, hygiene products, and other necessities on a regular basis. So do keyword research and social uh, listening to find out which uh, products are popular at any given moment. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, kindly give the video a thumbs up, share the video with somebody, somebody else who may benefit from it, and of course, don't for, uh, forget to subscribe to the channel because, you know, this channel is all about money. I do the hard work so that you can thrive financially and grow your wealth. Now, thank you very much, folks, and I shall see you in our next video. Bye-bye.